It has been a long and frustrating road back to widespread GPU availability at prices anywhere close to MSRP. And at this point, we're all clamoring for AMD and Nvidia to release their next-gen graphics cards. Those are on the way. However, the precise timing of their arrival is not yet known. The most recent information indicates that Nvidia may end up postponing the release of the 4000 series RTXs. So what's the explanation for this? Well, let's find out. During the early stages of the pandemic, many gamers spent their time unsuccessfully attempting to acquire a decent video card. However, this was nearly impossible if they been accomplished due to the surge in cryptocurrency prices and the worsening component shortage. Anybody that gave up and decided to wait for the next gen of GPUs is gearing up for another retail struggle with Nvidia's RTX 4000 series that has the Ada Loveless cards on the horizon. Still, they might have to wait a little bit longer though as there is a possibility that the GPU is not going to be released this summer as planned. PC enthusiasts who build their own computers and gamers will likely be excited about the upcoming debut of Nvidia's RTX 4000 series graphics cards, as these will include Ada Loveless architecture and GPUs fabricated by TSMC N4. The reports regarding performance are intriguing, but they're counterbalanced by worries around power consumption and Nvidia's attempt to retain pride from the crypto boom era. It was previously speculated the RTX 4000 series cards would be released sometime in July of this year. However, there are more credible rumors which have suggested that the top of the line 4090 might be dropped in late December ahead of the 4080 and 4070, which are scheduled to be introduced in the next couple of months. The RTX 4000 series cards, which are based on Nvidia's Ada Lovelace architecture, will be having huge advancements over the 3000 GPUs. Not only will the new GPUs compete with the impending RX 7000 series from AMD, but they'll also compete with the upcoming Arc Alchemist GPUs from Intel, which are also slated to ship later in the summer. It appears that Nvidia may choose to display the launch of its next-gen boards from when it actually plans to do so, because there is an access GPU inventory collecting dust in retailers' warehouses. Moore's Law is dead. A reputable technology insider has received word through the retail sources that the release of the RTX 4000 series cards, the successor of the 3000 series, could be pushed back until December 2022. The news comes as a result of an increase in the stock of RTX 3000 series cards. In his video detailing testimonies about the oversupply of NVIDIA cards, one source stated that, quote, they've been forced to swallow tens of thousands of high-end Anthea cards, which we don't want. The unnamed shop further emphasized that it might not even make a profit on these items because it's quote not sure we can sell above what we spent for them moore's law is dead even informed us that a second source possesses a warehouse which is stocked with a large quantity of low-end previous gen turing gpus depending on the sku the gpus cost anywhere between 200 and 300 dollars purchase while on the other hand, due to the decline in demand that followed the elimination of the GPU scarcity, the company is, quote, becoming real anxious to move them. Moore's Law is Dead also stated that a post published by DigiTimes is accurate, and that the report describes how Nvidia is now allegedly pushing the TSMC to cut it back its manufacturing for the RTX 4000 series due to the enormous amount of access and fear stock that it's holding. When one considers all the types of material that's been pressured thus far, it shouldn't come as a surprise that a different source has added that the RTX 4000 series range might not ship, quote, in substantial volume until early November or late December of this year. So with all of that in mind, what's with the abnormally large amount of stock with the RTX 3000 series GPUs just, you know, sitting around doing nothing in warehouses? After all, the vast majority of cards from this range were nearly hard to buy at the manufacturer's suggested MSRP before 2022. And now, individuals and businesses are finding it difficult to sell them off. Well, truth be told, crypto miners and scalpers were the primary parties responsible for the increasing price. This was because of the recent spectacular meltdown which had occurred in the Bitcoin market, and many of these products are now freely available on several third-party places such as eBay and others at more reasonable price points. In that similar vein, scalpers and Nvidia board partners are desperately trying to get rid of stock, even at very low prices, with little to no profit. This represents a significant shift from the days when they were made millions or even billions of dollars on inflated price points. It reportedly reached a point where even larger firms were giving out bonuses due to the amount of money that they were making from selling cryptocurrency mining GPUs. Now, the case is an entirely different story. At any rate, it's essential to emphasize the potential influence that the launch window for AMD's 7000 series could end up having on Nvidia's choice regarding the timing of the release of its own boards. 
Moore's Law is Dead said, quote, there's a cap on how long NVIDIA can realistically wait to launch the RTX 4000 series. I heard some people suggest that it may even try to launch ADA in Q1 2023. But the fact of the matter is RDNA 3, which is the architecture powering Radeon 7000, and I'm told that consistently is launching in quarter four 2022. While it's been reported that NVIDIA asked TSMC to reduce its order of five nanometer chips, the DigiTimes piece, which we discussed earlier, states how AMD did not alter its order and is presumably willing to tolerate price rises. That is something that NVIDIA didn't do. In the end, customers are the ones who stand to benefit the most from the current circumstance. Consumers have endured years of board partners artificially inflating the prices of the GPUs and significant delays in receiving orders. However, they may now purchase the most powerful graphics cards available at a price that's even lower than the prices listed on their suggested retail tags. The RTX 1630 has been delayed too. According to video cards, the release of NVIDIA's planned entry-level GTX 1630 has also been delayed indefinitely after its launch date was pushed back. According to rumors, NVIDIA recently revised the embargo date of the GTX 1630 cards from June 15th to TBD, which suggests that the card will not be debuting anytime soon. The article states that the corporation has been having trouble, quote, securing the essential components in order to produce the cards and make them ready for the market. The article makes it quite obvious that the source components are questionable and not the GPU themselves, but rather it's not immediately clear what the scarce components are. According to many rumors, NVIDIA's board partners have already created the first batch of GTX 1630 cards, and the approval process for the packaging designs have also reportedly been finished. NVIDIA has not yet provided any sort of info regarding an official release date to the product. Regarding the technical characteristics of the GTX 1630, it's claimed to have come with 512 CUDA cores, which is a decent one from the 896 CUDA cores included in the 1650. Not to mention, it's reported to be up to 72% slower than the 1650 in benchmarks, which might signal that it requires a large price reduction to succeed. As a result of NVIDIA's impasse, this may present an excellent chance for AMD and the RDNA 3 graphics processing units to be released in the near future. This rumor indicates that NVIDIA won't be releasing their new GPUs anytime soon. In any case, the GPU race's perennial underdog could gain a significant advantage, enabling internal gamers to refresh their hardware more quickly with AMD than NVIDIA. However, everything truly depends on how credible these rumors are. In most cases, the consumer will emerge victorious, ultimately making them the actual winner. Because it's not so easy to obtain stock, we are now faced with a very real potential of selling GPUs at prices much lower than the MSRP. That's something that could have been impossible around six months ago. So there you have it, folks. That's what we know about NVIDIA's delay with the 4000 series GPU. Thanks for watching today's video, and we will encourage you to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed. That being said, let us know if you're looking forward to the release of NVIDIA's 4000 series down below. And always as folks, stay safe and stay informed.